The following video explains how to use the Product Associations tab when adding or editing a product in PrestaShop 1.6. Associations are used to categorize products so that they are more easily found within your PrestaShop storefront. In order to use associations, you must be either adding a new product or editing an existing one. Here we're going to be logged into the PrestaShop Administrator dashboard. We're in products and we're editing an existing product. Scroll down to the Associations tab, click it, and you'll see the short Associations screen. The first item you'll see in Associations is the Associated Categories. And the categories basically are a section in PressShop that you can set here under the catalog. It's called Categories. When you look at the categories that are assigned to a product, or if you're assigning one, you'll see that you can actually set up almost like a tree, and it starts with home. Now to navigate through this tree, you can use the collapse button, expand all, and then you can select by all these items in the tree by clicking on check all, or uncheck everything. Now, as your store grows, you may have quite a few subjects, or excuse me, categories and um, subcategories within your menu. So you may have to do a search. So you can actually search for items here as well. Here I'm going to click on the collapse all, and you can see that everything kind of collapsed underneath home. If I click it again to expand all, you'll see everything that's underneath. If I wanted to associate the product to everything, in this list and you would check, click on check all. First we're going to look at what happens when you click on the home item which is the very first option here. If you do check home the associated product will actually become what's called a featured product on your storefront. Now this location or this option depends upon the theme that you're using for your Presta Shop site. So by the default theme, the feature product is actually under a section called Popular Products. So here we'll go to the storefront. You can see the, the store here. If you scroll down, you see Popular. And here we have the product that we have selected to be the feature product. Let's go back and look at that um, associations one more time. So this is that same product, the faded short sleeve t-shirts. And then you'll see that it's checked off at home, which makes it a featured product. Notice that you can select multiple items here or categories for the product association. Again, you should be doing this just to make it so that you can more easily find the product within your store. So we're going to take another quick look at the associations to understand how it affects the order of your products within the store and also how it brings a little bit more uh, organization. That's pretty much one of the main reasons you want to use the associations. So we're going to look at a different product. We're going to look at the print address. So here we're going to find this print address, edit, look at associations, and you can see that this main category is under women. It's a dress. It's under casual dresses. If you look at the default category, you can see that it's under casual dresses. So how does this relate to the actual storefront? So let's look at the storefront. So we're going to look for the dress. Well, we know we can see dresses is one of the main categories. So if we click on that, you'll see dresses comes up as a main category. And if you look at casual dresses, which is where we had the print address, you'll see the print address pop up as one of the products. If I were to go straight to the casual subcategory, the only product right now in the casual dresses cup category is the print address. So again, the main drive behind using the associations is to organize your store. It also helps to get your customers to the product a little quicker. After you finish clicking on the associated categories, you can also create a new category 
if you do click on this button, it will leave the page. It will also give you a warning saying, hey, you're about to lose all your modifications if you didn't save it. So make sure that you save your progress before you proceed. The default category is the main category that's associated with your product. So if you bought a Samsung TV that's a 40 inch TV and there's many different options within the store, the main category would just be television. So you would just try to be a little bit general with this and that would be the default category for your product. Accessories are products that you would recommend to buy with the, the product that you're associating. You can do a search by clicking in the field for products that exist in your shop. And finally, there is a manufacturer. You can select a manufacturer so that you can associate your product with a specific manufacturer. If you need to create a new manufacturer, there's another link here. Like the new category link, it will leave the page and you would need to save your items before you left so that you didn't lose your entries. So when you finish entering all the um, associations that you want for the product and the default category and any accessory, then you can click on save and stay or save in order to save your entries. And that completes our video for using the associations tab when adding or editing a product within PrezzaShop 1.6. Thanks a lot and have a great day.